the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin. As you could see, my cheeks were very, very red and discolored, so I'm using my neutralizing primer from Bare Minerals. And then I'm going in with my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I do like this, but it's honestly not my favorite. I just feel like it kind of ends up looking cakey on me, but I, yeah. I'm just buffing it in using the new Sigma F83 brush, which I actually really like. It's kind of a curved kabuki. Then starting out with the eyes, I'm going in with Benefit Air Patrol Primer, and I'm just applying that to the lids and buffing it all out using a Sigma P86 brush. And yeah, just priming them lids. Then I was looking in the palette and there's actually no matte bone shade or anything so I'm taking the professional powder from Benefit just to set the lids down because as I said there's nothing in here to set down the lids which is kind of disappointing. Then I'm picking up the shade Roxanne and I'm just using my E40 brush again, just going in with the same brush and I'm just doing the same kind of thing. Uh, as you can see, I did do this a bit messy, so I took that um, P86 brush and just cleaned up the edge a little bit. I am being quite messy with it and just buffing it all into the crease and kind of everywhere. Then I'm picking up these two shades which are called Hunts and Jacks. And mixing them together just creates the most beautiful orangey red tone. So I'm just using an E25 brush to apply it in the outer corner and then bring it all the way through the crease. And then I'm picking up the shade Mocha, which is like a brownie kind of shade, just to add a little bit, little bit more of a, I don't know, neutral brown rather than a red brown. Then I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cobalt and just applying it to my lid in kind of like a rounded motion. And then I'm just taking an E58 brush and blending it out. And then on my finger I'm picking up the shade Twerk and I'm just pressing that all over the lid where I applied the base. Then just going back in with the E25 brush I'm just blending those edges. Then I'm going back in with Hunts and Jacks again and I'm just intensifying the reddish kind of shade in the outer corner and in the crease because I really wanted there to be quite a contrast between the blue shade and the red warm browns kind of thing. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liquid liner in black and I'm just creating a small little baby wing. Then I'm just tight lining using Rimmel Cold Pencil in black and I'm going to apply a coat of the Tarte Slash Paint Mascara and then I'm applying the Vegas Ney Shining Star Lashes. Now for some reason I was not filming when I applied my concealer and I didn't even realize but I applied the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and then I just set it all down into place using the Benefit Professional Powder. Then to contour and bronze I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest and I'm using an FO5 brush just to shape my face and add some color. And then for blush, I'm taking Benefit California and I'm applying it using an F15 brush, which is a duo fiber brush. Just helps not to apply too much product. And then to highlight, I use the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten using a Sigma F03 brush on the tops of my cheekbones, um, my cupid's bow and down my nose, my chin and above my eyebrows. Then I just set it all in place using the Algenis Splash Setting Spray. And then moving back onto the lower lash line, I mixed Hunts and Jacks once again. And I just used an E57, kind of like a smudgy blender brush, um, just to apply those to the lower lash line. And then blending everything out with an E40 brush. Then I took the shade Twerk again, just on the same E57 brush 
and I just applied that to sort of the inner third of the lower lash line. And then to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone, I took this shade which is called Beam. It's absolutely beautiful for an inner corner and brow bone highlight. It's insanely pigmented. And then I just took the E40 brush once again and made sure I blended everything out. Then I just applied some lower lash mascara and to finish off the look, I applied the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Little Stitious. And that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.